Hello everyone, uh, good morning from the European side and at least good afternoon from the Japanese side. Um, I would like to do a quick check to see if, uh, if the authors of the three papers are around. I could also find uh, Mr. Peroshoka in, uh, for the first paper. I don't know if the other uh, two papers had someone to present them. Uh, but in the meanwhile, you can write to me on the chat for that. Uh, and let me introduce you to this uh, session. I hope you can hear me. Otherwise, please let me know. I'm uh, Denis Sostomo, and I'm coming from Oldenburg University in Denmark. And I would like to welcome you to this uh, session about innovative uh, design of Clava. So our first uh, presentation will be uh, about a paper called The Flatworm-like Pedal Locomotory Robot <laughs> Worm S2, Fundamental Properties of Pedal Wave Locomotion. So if the presenter is around, please uh, unmute yourself and share the screen. Uh, Did you try to share the screen uh, yes. again? Yes, give me a moment. I, I will just... Yes. Share okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you and we can see the slides. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. I am Prasanga. Uh, I'm going to present our paper about the uh, platform like pedal wheel locomotive robot, uh, the locomotion of the fundamental property of pedal wheel locomotion. So, so this is the presentation outline. So I let through the introduction. So uh, robot have become the uh, important tool of the day-to-day -day life of the human. So. Uh, no, 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 normally, uh, in in robot tasks, the, the main one of the main tasks is the moving on the environment. So uh, when we consider the robot applications such, such as uh, a disaster and surveillance, military, these kind of things, uh, robot need to locomote uh, unstructured environment. So when we consider the living creatures, they show the much efficiency and adaptive way in locomotive on a unstructured environment. Therefore, many researchers try to develop robot system based on the living creature. So inspired by platform, we are uh, developing a new robot system called a platform, a warm robot. So in when we consider the platform, it's, it's, a, it's this creature, uh, like sheet like they, they use multiple uh, waves to generate the uh, wave so therefore this therefore this flexible uh, surface like structure can generate the uh, wave for any direction therefore based on the this concept we develop the new uh, robot concept called vomes so ideally this concept can Crawling on the surface and working and transport the object, manipulate. So in this research paper, we uh, study the the fundamental locomotion mechanism of pedal wave on home robot based on the number of links and one convection and as well the between the trans, uh, locomotion between the different friction conditions. So first of all, when I, I ex explain explain the basic of the Robot. Warmish robot we develop based on the modular concept. So we have two types of module called uh, control module and joint module. So uh, control module have some uh, control hardware, battery power supply systems, and joint module has uh, motors and linkage, uh, so and so. So these joints are connected with the 
prevalent joint. So, so joint layout is explained in the figure number two. For our ex explanation, we make the some terminology based on the one kinematic chain as uh, uh, demonstrated in figure number three. In here, P1 and P2, the, so, so P1, P10 is the uh, ground contact point and M, MC and MCJ is the, the modules and J represent the joints. So, the, in, when we move to the parallel locomotion platform, so we use the, we consider the two uh, model of robot. We, one is a three by three metric form and other one is six, six by three metric form. So we use the multiple traveling which propagate along parallelly and synchronously along the same direction that generate the uh, transition linear motion. So, you know, but when we consider the number of links, our hypothesis, when we, we if a robot have many number of link, one, it's a one kind of check, it can generate the continuous wave. But when you come to the very minimum number of, of module or links, it cannot generate the continuous waveform. But based on this, uh, so we, we move to the next direction. So, so for generate the parallel wave, we use the equation that we control the joint angle between modules using the equation number one. And uh, you can see how multiple traveling wave yeah. work on the uh, our one of five uh, prototypes. So, uh, so when we show these uh, videos, we can see there's a significant difference between these two models. When we come to the the six by six, the many high link model, it, it can ge generate the continuous waveform. But when you go to the three link uh, case, it is not a continuous motion. It's a combination of the locomotion steps. So, uh, uh, so uh, therefore, we plot the robot course as well as uh, traveling direction of the velocity of the robot for the traveling direction. So we can we can uh, name this uh, locomotion step uh, Q1, Q2, and Q3, Q4. So when you come to the Q1, we can see the rear side of the robot is sliding, move toward the robot, it's a high velocity. And the front side has the low velocity, it's almost, uh, and can not moving in lo locomotion Q2. It transfer the uh, robot post from Q1 to Q3. In Q3, the front part is moving toward the uh, traveling direction, and uh, rear part while anchoring save the low velocity, zero velocity. So in Q4, it transfer the ro robot post from Q3 to Q1. But when you come to the uh, Continue, uh, the many number of link model, it, it is a continuous waveform. We can see also the velocity along the one kind of exchange also sign, sign function. So uh, therefore we, based on this locomotion, when you come to the three by three model, it will make some uh, difficulty during the, so when we come to this case, for the friction is the most, Crucial physical parameter of the robot. We can see when we in the when Q3 and Q1, which co contribute the positive movement, it's a much higher friction difference. And Q, Q2 and Q4, it's not have friction difference or almost approximately equal. So, uh, so therefore, based on this case, we can see when we move move through the uh, uh, difference uh, uh, friction areas, such as uh, when we uh, when you come to the, the low friction to, through the high friction, it makes some uh, uh, difficulties for move through the, this area. In here, you can see in Q3, it, it according to the fundamental Lo uh, locomotion as explained in the previous 
they should uh, in this area should have the zero velocity and front area should have the plus velocity but in here the the front area is a uh, zero anchoring while uh, the rear side is go to the backward is it's actually produce a minus displacement so so therefore when we plot the uh, displacement of the robot we can see in the uh, blue line it is a wave motion that means the locomotion quarter acutely not contribute the uh, toward the traveling direction it's make the some uh, negative impact on the locomotion therefore we introduced to improve the this locomotion we introduce uh, to modify the parallel wave uh, we introduce a stiffness to modify the parallel wave that, that mean we try to avoid locomotion quarter 3 and improve the locomotion quarter 1 in in here in video this animation you can see uh, the below one it uh, with the stiffness and upper one is a without the stiffness you can see with the stiffness it make much uh, better uh, transition during this uh, friction area so when you come to the robot pose in figure 2 in here we can see in locomotion quarter 1 have uh, a positive movement toward the robot as as explained in the fundamental locomotion type but we, we, we couldn't see locomotion quarter 3 it's it's uh, uh, omitted by uh, the added uh, stiffness so uh, let's go to the previous lesson again then we plot the uh, displacement of the robot uh, with the time we can see in the red line it's a, a with the stiffness you can see with the stiffness is transit the uh, the this friction area with uh, approximately 55 seconds but in uh, without the stiffness it get get uh, approximately 70 seconds to move through the this surface therefore by introduce uh, this uh, modify lo uh, parallel locomotion it improve the locomotion with the friction area so uh, then we come to the conclusion is uh, the conclusion is uh, the the number of link one per one kinematic chain it impact on the locomotion of the pedal wave as well with the minimum number of link it's not the continuous waveform it's a combination of the locomotion is steps therefore we name it q1 q2 and q3 so therefore this behavior lead to the some struggling during the locomotion during the transition friction areas such as when we consider the robot move the ice surface to sand surface or down surface this kind of situation therefore we introduce the uh, uh, modify pedal wave that improve the uh, locomotion for this kind of application in uh, in a future work we try to uh, experimentally test our result using our prototype as well as we need to uh, analyze the locomotion in the inclined surface how is climb and decline with the with the reference friction conditions and thank you very much uh, thank you very much for for the nice presentation uh, are there any questions from the audience I see that uh, we don't have some. Uh, I, I may have one. Uh, yes. Just out of curiosity, is there any plan to, uh, oh, most likely, what, what is the next step, let's say, for this robot? And uh, as, as part of the future work, do you plan to make it uh, as a larger scale? Or uh, yeah. Next? yeah. Uh, we are uh, still study the uh, fundamental motion, motion of the using this kind of robot such as steering and walking so we now we are trying to uh, test our simulation result using our uh, prototypes we have the prototype so in future we try to uh, 
in the near future, we will publish our finding with the prototypes. So in large scale, uh, we still not develop the large scale one, but uh, this robot have capability to the change its at the uh, modules. It's, uh, simply, we can add the uh, module by simply connecting with the same kind of structures with, uh, together. All right. Uh, thank you very much. There is also uh, another question uh, from uh, Ding Nguyen. Uh, if you can, if you consider mass and friction into your theory. Yes, hello. Hello. Please go ahead. Sorry, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't hear it. Uh, I'm saying that there is a, a question in the chat by uh, Dean uh, Nguyen, if I pronounce the name correctly. Uh, I, I think you can also see it yourself, or maybe the the person that asked the question can unmute themselves and ask the question. Oh, okay. Right. Otherwise, I, I can read it out. It, the person asks, do you consider mass and friction in your ah, theory? Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, uh, we consider the, the simulation of same uh, mass is exactly same with our prototype, but the the robot is the the modules are same. Therefore, we the mass the, the mass of the module not uh, impact all uh, all around the all all other robot because it's the same, but uh, the friction is the key, key factor because we couldn't change the mass because modules are same, same mass, same size. All right, uh, thank you very much. I think there is another question, but maybe I will ask uh, the person that wanted to ask to maybe talk on the chat okay. uh, and uh, potentially uh, you can uh, ask each other about more information. Because we will have to move to the to the next presentation. Thank you very much for for this paper, and I would like to welcome 